Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on an ASUS ROG Ally handheld, and I'm going to show you a teardown or disassembly video. So hopefully that'll help you access whatever components you're looking to access. So first thing you want to do, guys, shut your thing off. Make sure it's unplugged and powered down correctly. We're going to flip it over and access your screws. You got three along the bottom, three along the top. After that, you can take this bottom case off, and this is what you're looking at for the inside. A word of caution I give anyone when working on any sort of electronic device is the first thing to do when inside of it is remove or at least unplug your battery. That further limits power from moving about your motherboard and it limits the chances of you damaging anything. As a side note, to help with that, I have my electronic devices sitting on anti-static pads when I'm working on them or an anti-static bracelet. If you guys need any help with any tools or supplies for your project, There'll be a link above, also below in the description to my Amazon store. In my store, guys, there's several lists. Repair tools is one of them. Uh, you'll see there some commonly used hand tool sets, some anti-static gear, uh, things that I use commonly in my shop. After you get that bottom case off, you can remove your battery. Uh, there's a screw here on the right near the arrow, one here under the black shield, one here under the black shield, and one here on the left that will um, unscrew your battery. Keep in mind though, that usually um, on the left-hand side, there's a warranty sticker on one of those battery screws here. When you break those stickers, it voids part or all of your warranty. So just keep that in mind when working on your own electronic devices. After unscrewing all four of those screws, guys, you have this plug right here that comes from the motherboard that plugs into your battery. Instead of pulling on the wire, which is never a good idea, uh, take the actual white plug out. You can do that if you can get your fingernails on each side of those grips, maybe a small pair of pliers, a plastic pry tool, something other than pulling on that cord. After you get that out, you just have this ribbon cable that's attached to your battery by double-sided tape that needs to be unplugged. Uh, each side is the same. You have a gray clip that you pop up and the ribbon cable will release. Be careful with these, they're very fragile, and when you break those, you've kind of ruined the board, so be very careful. But once you unplug those uh, ends of the ribbon cable, the battery will be released. After you undo your battery, this is what you're looking at. Uh, now, the next thing I'm, I'm gonna take you into here is on either side, one right here on the right, one on the left. Uh, this board contains the vibrator as well as your analog stick. To get each board off, there are four screws on each board near the four corners. And as with a lot of boards that are quality, there'll be this white triangle or arrow near each screw that fastens it down. A lot of motherboards have this, but it's really cool that they've put this on these boards as well. So you can see which screws need to come up. There's also two cables right here, one here and one here. Uh, same thing as, as the battery, grab that white plug, don't grab the wires, pull that out. And then you have two ribbon cables, uh, smaller than the ones on the battery here and up here. Same general idea, they'll pop that gray tab up or that gray clip up and the ribbon cable will come out. Uh, this one's a little larger, this ribbon cable. There's a piece of black tape over it, so you gotta get that black tape up and then you can pull this out. Uh, but after unscrewing that, these boards will come off of the main board. This is what you're looking at for the underside of that board on each side. Again, you have the vibrator uh, motor here and then you have the analog stick. Really cool about this analog stick is as these get worn out over time or as they get dirty inside, these are replaceable parts on this board. As you can see, there's a ribbon cable connector here uh, that you pop up that black clip and the ribbon cable comes out and there's a screw on this side and this side. After the analog stick comes up, uh, you can blow this out or clean that out as that gets dirty over time. So really cool that that is a removable, repairable part. After both of those boards come up, this is what you're looking at for the remainder of the handheld. Just to shout out, these are your speakers on the left and on the right here. They're pretty solid. The next thing I'm going to show you here is your M2 drive right there. It looks like a little computer Wi-Fi card, but that's your little M2. You can undo that singular screw right there, and that drive will slide out of that port. This is your display ribbon cable here where your display plugs into the board. The next thing I'll take you through is the fan assembly. So in the fan assembly, you have a screw here, a screw here, and then of course these four screws over the, the middle of the heatsink assembly. And again, there's a warranty 
uh, sticker there. So just again, again, keep that in mind. Once you get that heat sink assembly up, this is what you're looking at for your motherboard. Now, if you want to go deeper, if you're here to replace your, your push buttons or anything or your motherboard, uh, just go around the motherboard and look for those white uh, triangles or arrows to show you the motherboard screws. So you get one right down here on the bottom, right down here. You get one there, here, here, here. Again, you just go around looking for those white triangles. You can get all those screws out. And then you also need to unplug your speakers right here. Um, again, you grab the white plug with your fingernails or a pair of pliers, slide that out. And then you would need to unplug your display here that comes here for your ac actual touch display and plugs into your motherboard. So there's a few other things you've got to unplug, but then you can get your motherboard off. After your motherboard comes up, this is what you're looking at for the inside of it. And there are your push buttons. These aren't held down by anything. So at this point, you can just gently reach around the bottom side of this and, and pop those out if you're looking to replace those as they get worn out. So that's your teardown disassembly video for this model. I hope that helped you out. I hope that helped you access whatever you needed to access. Um, if you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. I do try to keep those updated. If you need to leave me a question or comment, please feel free. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video. And I'll leave you now with a quick word on my affiliate partner, a great place to get games, Humble Bundle. At Humble, guys, you can get the latest games at great prices. They also have great ways to save when you're buying. You can bundle your games together in a purchase instead of buying them one at a time. You can also join Humble Choice, which is a monthly subscription service that gets you free games every month. And you can also feel good about your purchases because Humble has donated a ton of money to charity. And every time you pay your Humble Choice membership, every time you use my link, charity gets more. So it's a great website, guys. Great place to get games. Check it out with the link above. I'll also have the link below in my description.